welcome to Ageless Living TV. I'm so excited. Today I get to interview my best friend and I think you are just going to love her as much as I do. I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about Connie. Connie is originally from Indiana and Michigan and she moved to Southern California in 1966 and that's where she lives today. As a true Southern Californian, she doesn't even own a coat which is a big difference from Michigan, I tell you. Uh, Connie and her husband uh, ran a successful print shop for many years, and her husband is still an active printer. In the 1980s, Connie took her desire for fashion and beauty and became an image consultant, and not only did she help others with their own personal style, she also coached and taught an award-winning team to do the same. For the past 13 years, Connie has been on a mission to help other people improve their health. And she has a program that she personally coaches people through to have, get this, more healthy energy, better sleep, look at feel years younger, and lose pounds and inches like crazy. So who wouldn't want all of those? And with that mission, Connie is also dedicated to helping others reach their financial goals in her age group. And she'll talk more about that. With her husband of 55 years, that's crazy, Connie lives in a wonderful retirement community, and they're both active participants there. Her life is full of family and friends and her terrific grandchildren, with whom she spends a great deal of her time. So welcome, Connie. Say hello. Hi. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm thrilled to be here. It's so great to see you there. So let's just dig right in, shall we? I want to know a little bit more about your coaching business. So tell everybody why and how did you start this coaching business? Actually, Stephanie, it all started because of my own health. It was going downhill quickly, and I didn't know what was wrong. And I just got introduced to some terrific health products and the knowledge that goes with it that really I started putting into action and it really changed my health. And I really thought that I was just ready for that rocking chair and I was, I was done. And now I'm raring to go. Can I ask your age? Sure. I'm 74 and a half. <laughs> what? I mean, just to look at you, that just doesn't even seem possible. And I know oh, you probably hear that a lot. Thank you. So how has your life experience, just the things you've gone through in your life, how has that helped you with your business? Um, my life experience, what happened was when I started getting all of these tremendous results for myself and got my own health back, the first thing that happened for me was people that were near my age started seeing a difference in me and they started asking, what are you doing? You know, how come you got all this energy now? And so I was able to share it with others. And through that, I was able to really bless others with their own health and they had their own improvements. I would love to see that retirement community you live in. They probably all look like a bunch of 40 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun, I'll tell you. <laughs> like that movie Cocoon, remember that? Uh, right. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. Oh my gosh. And so you must just see some amazing stories and changes in people's lives. And that must just affect you on a personal level. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And just, just how, you know, how helping people, how does that feel to you to be able to do that? It feels wonderful because I feel like everybody deserves to live their fullest life until they aren't here anymore. And so through this program that I've been able to share, I've seen people's lives change and they've become more fulfilled. They've been able to travel more and do things with their grandkids like myself and things that, you know, they weren't able to do before. They were just feeling sick and tired and overwhelmed with age. And now um, they're not. And I like that. I love that. I love that you have this positive mission. Um, let me ask you this. What, what is the core of what you're doing that, that you just love? It, it makes you get up in the morning and jump out of bed ready to take on the day. What is it that you're looking forward to each day that you just love about your business? Um, the first thing is that I can get up healthy myself. I love that. I have the energy to get up right away. I just bounce out of bed, whereas before that was not the case. <laughs> And then knowing that um, others have that same 
um, opportunity now and that they can do the same thing. And the other thing is with my um, grandkids, I'm able to be able to do more and to play with them. And I couldn't do that before. I was, um, I was not in a good place. Um, it's the best I can tell you. And so it feels really good to me to have a mission and a passion to be able to get up in the morning. And I can't wait to tell somebody else, you know, the exciting news that I have on how they can improve their health and they don't have to settle for the status quo and the way things are. I kind of want to back up to something you just said, because it sounds to me like you didn't always feel this way, like jumping out of bed and ready to take on the world. So is there a time before you became a coach in the health, health business that you actually didn't feel your best? And can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely, there was. And I felt... Um, you know, you've seen commercials where people have the alarm go off and they hit the snooze button several times. I didn't even want to, I didn't want to throw it out the window. I didn't even want to get up. I didn't have the energy. I ached before I got up. I had trouble getting up. I'd have to get up and sit on the side of the bed and wait for a while because my body hurt so bad. And um, then when I got up, I had no energy and I was running for that first cup of coffee so I could try and stimulate myself. Um, with unhealthy things to get my energy up. And um, now it's not that way. And, and the other thing that I think for me was important was that when I moved into my community and I knew I was in a retirement community and I was young when I moved in here and yet I felt like I was very old and I was just ready for the rocking chair until God called me home. And now I've thrown that rocking chair away. <laughs> out of here you're out of here <laughs> well on that kind of note what what do you what advice do you have for someone who might be sitting at home feeling that way like they can't get out of bed and they have no energy and they're kind of feeling like is this all there is for life that, that you know they're kind of lost hope and excitement and vitality no kick in their step what kind of advice would you have for someone like that um don't settle and um Doctors are great and I love them, but sometimes they, um, they might tend to tell us that it is what it is and it isn't. It doesn't have to be what it is. Um, I've seen so many people's lives totally changed. And so I would say research, don't settle. You know, I have learned so much by through Google, not all of it's good, but there's a lot of great information on there. And so even if you just start with that and looking for healthier things to eat and um, some of the things maybe that aren't so healthy and things that have more toxins in them and things like that. Right. Well, that's good advice. Um, what, what's one of the things that you love about your business and one of the things that you find challenging? What I love is meeting new people. I love making new friends and um, seeing their lives change. And then we become lifelong friends sometimes. And if, if I hadn't, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I would never know them. And I've met some of the greatest, greatest people. I'll bet you just make friends everywhere you go. You're so friendly. I do. I love it. <laughs> and what was the most challenging is um, I would say sometimes people aren't ready to listen. They, um, they, they don't know they can make a change. And so I just, if I'm talking to them, I just try to love on them and let them see that there is a better future and they don't have to settle. I love that. That's such great of this. Now, one thing that I happen to know about you is that you're pretty savvy on the social media, specifically Facebook, and you're 74, coming up on 75 years old, and there are a lot of people, even much younger than you, that are having struggling with that whole idea. And I would love for you to just share a little bit about social media, your take on that. Should someone look into it and why? And any tips you might have for someone who really doesn't know or understand how this whole social media thing works? Absolutely. And, you know, first I have to tell you, it's kind of fun with my community here when all of that first started. I mean, they weren't even get on email. You know, a lot of these people were older and they weren't even on email. And so that was a big thing for them. And we were in a meeting last night and there had to be 75 people in the room and three quarters of the room raised their hand when they said, who's on Facebook? <laughs> so so, 
It's there. They're there. They're there. Yeah. So people are embracing it more. Um, and I think there's a lot of reasons really to be on Facebook. First of all, I think personally, you can connect with family and grandkids and things that you may, that maybe they're in other countries or other states, and you can see what their lives are about and be more connected with them. I think that is so much fun. So on a personal level, I think that's awesome. And then on a business level, um, it's just, I have met most of the people that I've been talking with and sharing this lately have come through Facebook. And I've met some of the greatest friends. And I have to tell you that I can go countrywide around the United States and call somebody and say, hey, I'm in your neighborhood. And we don't even know each other except through Facebook. <laughs> You're going to have to take a Facebook tour. That's right. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Uh, what advice do you have for someone who is technology challenged? It just has snuck up on them. They're used to the old school and this technology, computers and cell phones and definitely social media is just a mystery and a scary one sometimes. I would say embrace it and I would say take it one step at a time. You know, it's overwhelming. And a long time ago when I was um, doing typesetting and I was just learning it, and I remember the mentor that was teaching me and he said, um, I'm looking at this big form and I'm like, I can't do this. And he said, take it one line at a time. And so it's like, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? I think that's something like that. So don't run away from it. You know, it's a Get your grandkids to teach you. I mean, there you go. You have right? coaches they built in. This stuff. Get your kids to, and and just it's a wonderful place to be. And so embrace that and learn about it. Don't run from it. We've got a lot of life left, and so if we're going to keep up, we have to learn this. That's true. So I'm asking you now accountability would you come back and talk about social media with us here on the ageless living tv because i think that you have a lot that you could be teaching people and so i'm just going to ask you if you would come back and share some of your knowledge with us in i would be honored to thank you yes absolutely that would be great um so in your business when you're working this somewhat online and personal coaching business of helping people with their health and wellness and feeling and looking better and their finances and all of those things that you do. Have you had your age be a positive or negative impact? Um, I think it is what you perceive it to be. And, you know, I can say, well, you know, I'm 74 and um, younger people aren't going to listen to me. Or I can say, wow, I'm 74 and what a life I've led and this new knowledge. I have an education that they can learn from. So it, I think it's all how we perceive it. And I, I think age is immaterial. That is really great. I mean, that's great advice right there. Okay, are you ready for the lightning round? Okay. Rev up your engines. Here we go. Uh, celebrate your number. Your yes. age is? 74, yes. <laughs> we're celebrating so where you're sitting right now how old is old um if i were to tell you right now the way i with my mind now and the positiveness that i have um old is when you're in the grave good it's not over till it's over that's right how about your favorite happy place um i would have to say my home I really, I do go places and do things, but I love my home. Um, it's a peaceful area for me. I love decorating and um, having fun in it. I love having friends over. And so I love my home. And for the first time in my life, my house is decorated for all of my personality styles. A lot of friends help me get there, but I love it. We are looking at it right now behind you. And it, <laughs> it's so amazing. It's beautiful. I just love it. Okay, your favorite social media hangout. My favorite social media hang up or hang out? Where do you hang out? Favorite social media? Uh, that would be Facebook. That's the one that I'm most comfortable with. And, you know, I gave advice on getting comfortable with Facebook. I have to tell you that I now need to step out and get more comfortable with things like um, Instagram. Uh, you know, I'm on it, but I don't do a lot with it. And it's time for me to reach out and learn more about that. 
Um, I like Facebook better because I, it's, I think I get to know people better and it's more personable and you can carry on conversations and things with them. So Facebook is my favorite. I love how you're uh, looking to try new things though. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, favorite food? Um, favorite food besides my nutritional meal replacement protein shake um, would probably be a good steak dinner. Mm, that sounds good right now. Favorite book? Um, my favorite book is um, the Bible. <laughs> um, and I hesitated because I forgot something, but go ahead. That's okay. The Bible. That sounds great. Uh, what are you reading right now? Um, I'm reading a book that I love and I left it in the other room. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, advice for your 25 year old self, you. Um, life isn't over at 50. <laughs> I used to think that. I thought, well, geez, they're that old. You know, they might, what have they got left? You know, it's just the beginning. So embrace life at its fullest and keep going. I'm happy to hear that. Since I'm well over 50 and creeping up on 60, I'm glad life isn't over. <laughs> okay, your favorite hobby? Um, my favorite hobby would be um, decorating, fashion, and shopping for those two things <laughs> i love that shopping favorite music uh country oh that's nice um growing up tomboy or girly girl i was a tomboy totally oh that shocks me i, I didn't even know if I believe you. yeah <laughs> okay TV. i have to say i love the new me good <laughs> tv love it or hate it um sadly i love it i do love my time in front of the tv i don't have it on a lot but i do have some favorite shows i like to watch i'm with you completely okay how about your favorite quote well i had a great one i wanted to read to you but i can't i didn't bring it so i'm going to tell you the specifics of it that that means something to me great go for it and that would be uh the question would be if life was a magic carpet and it would take you to all of your dreams and goals and desires in life. Would you embrace it and go for it? Or would you just buy some curtains and carpet and just live, you know? Embrace it, go for it. Take that carpet and take it. it where it will take you. I love it, I love it. Well, now how can people find you? What's the easiest way for someone to find you? Um, uh, they can find me by my website, connienorlean.com. I'll put that up on the screen for you. Okay. Awesome. Well, um, it's been great talking to you and I'm really looking forward to talking to you more about social media in the future. And I just thank you so much for stopping by Ageless Living TV. I do also want to mention our sponsor, which is your ageless Without that, we wouldn't have a channel. So thank you for that. And um, I'm looking forward to people coming and finding you and getting to know you and becoming your Facebook friend because you have the most amazing posts. I get up every morning and I look forward to seeing that first thing in the morning. Connie will have a beautiful cup of coffee waiting for you on Facebook. So when you go to her website, be sure to find her. Is there a way we can find you on Facebook that's easy? Um, yeah, I think it's just connienorlean.facebook.com. Uh, I'll look that address up and I'll make sure that it's on the video when people are watching. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you'd like to say that I didn't ask you? I know this has been really fun. It's a first experience for me and I've loved it. And um, I just look forward to meeting all your watchers uh, that come find us on Facebook. Meeting new friends. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it and bye everybody.